Good morning. Hey, it's Friday, August 14th, 2020. I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg, and thank you for joining Mount Horeb Lutheran Church and our daily devotions together. Today, as every day, we are going to um, dwell on the Word and ask where we see God working in our lives in the Living Word and what questions might we have and any other things that pop out to you about the reading. So today we're looking at Acts chapter 14 verses 19 through 28. Now Acts can be um, hard to read a short passage of and, and understand it. However, we will read this passage and talk about it a little bit about the um, surrounding circumstances context, my favorite word, right? Okay, Acts chapter 14, 19 through 28. But Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium and won over the crowds. Then they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples surrounded him, he got up and went into the city. The next day, he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, then to Iconium and Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders for them in, an, in each church, with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. Then they passed through Pisidia and Pamphylia, and when they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Attilia. From there they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had completed. When they, had, they arrived, they called the church together, and related all that God had done with them, and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. And they stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So, um, at the end of that, it talks about uh, open door. And today, that is what jumps out to me, that the work was God's work and the door was of faith was opened by the same God. The faith that is open to the Gentiles and the Jews and the barbarians and the people of all of those um, interestingly named towns that we always read in Paul's writings and in here Luke's writings in Acts. Um, so that's what jumps out to me, as well as the fact that uh, the surrounding story is quite interesting. I mean, Paul went through a lot. He was stoned and got up in the same verse almost at the beginning of that reading. And Paul had um, pre just most recently um, performed a miracle by by healing a crippled man and the people's response was to to call upon the gods that they knew and to give credit to the gods that they knew um, Zeus and Hermes if you'll read the read the um, beginning of chapter 14 you'll see what I'm talking about but that's what I'm getting at the credit is gods the the way that the door of faith is opened is through God's action and uh, not ours. And I know that the apostles here, the disciples who traveled and were stoned and persecuted and jailed and imprisoned, um, they did a lot of work and it was spirit led. Uh, obviously it was spirit led. They um, weren't working to to get something checked off of their list. They were continually being disciples and apostles. So all of that, what jumps out to you about the reading? What 
uh, could you look at today and give God the credit for in your life? Um, uh, if you have the, the uh, Christ in our home devotion, that is what we've been using kind of as an outline of the scripture to look at. And today I cannot go without mentioning that the devotion mentions Martin Luther and how in the third article of the creed, Martin Luther's explanation, Martin says, <laughs> we're on first name basis, um, hey, it's, it's God, to God be the glory for the faith that, that God has given us. It is not our faith. It is only through the Holy Spirit that we can be given the faith through the, through the gospel. And that is why we are, our community is opening that gospel every day. Thank you for joining us and for being a part of the good news. And let us pray as the Holy Spirit calls us to pray always. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for this gathering of people. Thank you for the gifts that you have given us, including the faith and the endurance and the understanding, even though we cannot understand all, all of the mystery of, of our faith. Thank you for the gift of understanding. Thank you for all the people who have gone before us to point us in the right direction to help us learn about being disciples and apostles and preachers and teachers and all of the things that lead us to live in your good word. It is in all of these, for all of these things that we pray and thank you for your presence with us in the living word. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.